Hi, this is just a uh, quick demo on how to um, destroy the object underneath your mouse cursor. Okay, first off, we'll just create an object to destroy. Let's just take a second here. We'll call him Bob. Jump in. Um, just give him a uh, static mesh. So we can see him. we go, da, da, da. collision component, and uh, just make, him, make it a little bit bigger, here we go, and we'll also um, just throw a, a vari variable in here, so that we can uh, confirm that we're actually communicating with this particular one, so um, just throw in a little Okay, that's all we need to do for uh, for Bob here. I'll we'll put him in. Okay, the next little thing here. Um, I'll just do it the same the same way that you've kind of uh, started with your one there, with a, a key to um, start the mouse cursor. use the uh, T key. Normally you'd use uh, an action map to set this up but um, just do it this way. For, let's So I'll just create a um, stop mouse movement here. To um, stop the, uh, the mouse affecting the movement of the character. Doesn't need to be done, but uh, just looks a little bit better. Just go over to the uh, mouse input here and throw in a couple of little branches. Control W to copy. False ones for Okay. Have a quick test just to make sure I got that round the right way. Okay, so uh, yep, that's good enough. Okay, and uh, let me see, show me how severe. And then what we want to do is um, let's see, left mouse click. 
lift mouse button down. Cool, there we go. Okay, and what we want to do is um, under cursor, take the little tick out of here to get the, uh, all the different options. We'll uh, run it through by channel. Um, just have a quick look at the um, You can run it through um, under selected objects, but it's um, limited. Oops, sorry, limited to uh, different groupings of objects, and your object may not necessarily fall into any of these categories. So it's just as easy to get the hit result under cursor by channel. You can also set up custom channels as well and assign a uh, custom channel to an object. So we just go down here, break hit result, and then hit actor. One option is to just um, cast to cast to Bob for when we selected. Okay, and uh, as Bob, let's see, what did we have for, get the description, because we know that it should be in there, and uh, we'll just print, print for description, and if our cast fails, just control W, and uh, Some, uh, let me see. Just change that to uh, another color, make it easier to differentiate. Okay, oh, and of course, we need the player controller in here as well. Ooh, there we go. Also, um, we don't want this firing off um, when you're just playing without pressing the T. So we'll just put a little branch in here. We we'll use the stop mouse movement. And uh, yes, we want that to be true. So when you've um, s stopped the mouse movement here, pressed the T, stop mouse movement, it allows you to when you left click the mouse button it'll go through cast to whatever you hit if it if it is bob it'll print the description in bob and uh, if not it'll print this nice little message here so you can uh, easily check and see if it's working so we'll go here and uh, press t hold it down we can click here 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 all these objects are not bob Click over here, and this is Bob. Cool, so it's all communicating with each other. That's exactly what you want, I think. And um, let me see, you also want to destroy him. Destroy actor, there we go. And who do we want to destroy? Poor old Bob. And run around here. Okay, press T, hold it, okay click on him, he's dead. All done. Now, there's a, a few other things you could do as well. Um, instead of casting to Bob, you could use a blueprint interface, which you'd put on the um, Bob actor character, then it would go through, hit the actor, and if the actor has the blueprint interface, then it will do something or report back some information from it and then you can use the variables in Bob as well, so you don't have to use the cast node there. Okay, cheers, I hope that helps you out. Um, good luck there.